Hey guys, Neon Genesis here and welcome to a different Final Fantasy XIV video. And in today's video guys, I thought I'd rather go over the Dragoon Rotation Guide that I personally use. Now by all means, I'm certainly not a pro at Dragoon, but I seem to do my best all the time. And I do get some pretty good numbers out, so whether it be right or wrong, this is how I play the job. Now let's go over some of the abilities real quick. Now the additional abilities that you can take over, or other words, cross-class abilities, is you know, I've taken over Second Wind, Foresight, Blood Bath, and Eternal Release. Now there is another one we can take over from, from a pug list I think called um, Mercy Stroke. Now I haven't honestly leveled my monk that high to be able to take that over just yet, but I will be working on that in probably the near future, hopefully before Heaven's Ward, but if not, we'll see. Um, so they're the abilities I take over. Some key abilities for Dragoon that we need to really be focusing on. If you're new to leveling up Dragoon, is you want to be looking at Heavy Thrust and potentially having that up at all times. The buff for that is incredible because it gives you an increased damage dealt by 15%, which lasts for a good whopping 20 seconds. So it's giving you the 20 seconds to put in as much damage as you can. And then of course when it wears off, you'll be putting that back up as soon as you can. As you can see here, it says delivers an attack with the potency of 100, 170 when executed from a target's flank. So you always have to make sure that you're attacking the enemy from the side to, to get the most for the damage. But as it was updated, I think a, a few uh, months ago now, um, it used to be that it would only um, the buff would only work if you hit the enemy from the side. Um, but now it works from regardless of whichever side of the enemy or whichever position you hit the enemy from. So that's always a nice bonus, but you will of course do more damage if you do actually get it from the side. So it's a bit more of a reward if you do it right. Um, so we want to be looking at keeping that one up at all times. For bottomize is another, another good one. It's kind of a good damage over time, or dot as we call them, which um, delivers an attack of a potency of 170, additional effective damage over time, potency of 30, and a duration of 18 seconds. So again, I try and keep it up at all times. I don't go out my way and take over from Warrior. I don't take over um, Fracture because I think it's quite a lot of TP cost for the very little bit of damage it does. It is a weaker damage over time. I mean, by all means, for the longer fights, don't use them. But by all means, the shorter fights, it could be quite a good idea to maybe look at taking it over to do the additional extra damage. But me personally, I just stay away from using it as it uses and eats a lot of my TP quite quickly. Um, so let's go back to my abilities. What else we've got? Now, impulse drive. I could have swore that impulse drive was only um, sort of giving you the best benefit of the damage when you hit the enemy from behind. So because of I think they must have updated it. I honestly don't quote me. I could be wrong there. I now try and hit the enemy from behind using impulse drive at all times because it's kind of something that's drilled into me. So if you see me doing that. Don't panic too much, it's just the way that it was drilled into me at the time and obviously now they've changed it, so now I've just do it out of pure habit. So it doesn't particularly matter where you hit the enemy from, um, but I'm pretty sure from behind it was where it used to have the damage buff extra. So I do try and throw in leg swoop whenever we can, but you do take care in some boss fights. It's well worth, for example, the um, Ifrit one anyway, the Ifrit story mode and the Ifrit hard, and I'm not sure about extreme, you can end up stunning um, Ifrit or Ifrit, so you do want to be careful not to use Leg Sweep in that fight, and as well as Spine Shattered Eye for the stun as well, so do take care on that. Um, other abilities we need to sort of be wary of is Life Surge is a very, very valuable ability, one of my favourite abilities for the Dragon class anyway. It ensures critical damage for your foe for the first non magic action used while Life Surge is active. Damage dealt will be absorbed as HP up to 10% of maximum HP. So basically, what that means is that on you know using the life surge straight, um, before using your next move is going to heal 10% of that damage that you did. So what I tend to use is I try to use true thrust, ball thrust, and then as I go for full thrust, I normally pop up life surge and then full thrust because I feel it does the most damage and of course recovers the most HP back. And also does the um, obviously it will do more damage that way because it will be a critical and it's a non-magic attack. So it's well worth um, noticing. What else do we have? Invigorate, obviously if you're low on TP, just use that back, obviously 500 TP is a incredible amount. Um, 
Now, I'll go into an AOE type of rotation as well in this video, but for now, I'll just start off with by saying, of course, that in my videos, um, in my videos, in, in my fighting on Dragoon, I like to try and keep my heavy thrust up at all times. So I'm going to go on to this one. I'm trying to find a free one because all these NPCs are taking. I'll go into the one over in the middle here, so it's a good, good area. So I always try and keep up heavy thrust. So there's heavy thrust, and then I normally go with to the bottom eyes. Now again, I'm popping up eternal release. I'm going from behind enemy to use impulse drive out of habit. Disembowel and then chaos thrust. I go to the front of the enemy, I do true thrust, vocal thrust, I pop up some blood for blood and then full thrust. Then I look at my eternal lead, uh, sorry, my heavy thrust again is down, so I go again, do that, I go to my uh, impulse drive, disembowel, chaos thrust, I go to phlebotomize again, go to true thrust, leg sweep, vorpal thrust, life surge, full thrust. And then I, I, I tend to try and keep up my heavy thrust at all times and phlebotomize if and when I feel it's ready. Now, if you feel I'm going into my impulse drive, disembowel, and chaos thrust a bit too, sorry, yeah, chaos thrust a bit too sort of soon because it's not wore off, it's, it's just because it's quite good for damage. Another thing to sort of note about is what I was saying about impulse drive, about doing it from the enemy from doing this move from the enemy from behind, um, was an old habit of mine anyway. But also, um, since I'm behind the enemy anyway, it delivers an attack, this chaos for us, it delivers an attack with a potency of 100. 150 when executed from behind the target. So even though I'm coming around here to do impulse drive, disembowel, and then chaos for us, the fact that I'm behind the enemy to do Chaos for us just adds the fact that I don't need to worry about positioning anyway. So I'm gonna, again, I'm just going to do it again. So I normally start with Heavy Thrust, Optimize, Impulse Drive, Eternal Release for the critical hit, Disembowel, Chaos Thrust for the buff, Go True Thrust, Leg Sweep, Vorpal Thrust, Life Surge, Full Thrust. And then I look at my heavy thrust, it's going down, so I've got heavy thrust. And again, I can go into probably another rotation this way around if I wanted to. And then, I don't know, blood for blood, then full thrust again. I can use power surge, and then a jump. I can go into another true thrust, probably. Go into a normal jump, and then full thrust once again. And then all my debuffs are down, so I need to work on them again. So, heavy thrust, impulse drive. Disembowel. I can't use any more buffs for now, so I'm just using my normal rotation. I go into a true thrust, dragon fire dive, vorpal thrust, leg sweep, full thrust, and then full bottomize again. And then I can go heavy thrust, and then work my way around like this for quite some time. Um, I do tend to find out I'm popping up the most damage doing these rotations. So whether I'm playing this job wrong or right, I'm not really sure. But I hope this video has helped you guys in any of your Dragoon rotations or if it's just helped you in general with reminding you how to use some of the abilities then by all means please give this video a comment or like or anything like that. Now before I sort of end the video there I will go into a quick AOE Dragoon rotation. Now the only thing that lets Dragoons down in my opinion is that they don't have a good Dragoon, um, sorry a good AOE rotation. The best one I can think of is as always going up with Heavy Thrust, and then go into Ring of Thorns, and then pretty much just spamming Doom Spike. Now it does eat your TP quite quickly, so you don't want to be doing it for too long. And what I'd recommend is doing yourself um, Doom Spike until you hit about 100 or so TP. And then you want to go to Invigorate, and then just stay onto your normal rotation of True Thrust, Fall for Thrust, Jump, Full thrust, you know, all the usual rotations we were just going through that way. I know it was only a short amount of AoE damage we would have been doing, but it's pretty much the best you can do. Um, by all means, take Blood Bath over if you're starting to take some damage, pop up Blood Bath and doing Blood Bath and then doing um, Doom Spike when you're doing AoE and all the enemies is a pretty good, good way of topping up your HP again because you take HP from all the enemies that you're actually attacking. Um, and then of course second wind, I tend to use that obviously when I need to be cured, um, like so. Um, my foresight, for example, I'll use this in Garuda Hard or Garuda Extreme 
where some of the big AOEs are going on just to help the mages not have to worry about my health as much. Um, and other than that guys, I think I've spoke through pretty much all the abilities there. Um, yeah, I think I've pretty much used all my abilities there. And the only one that a lot of people don't tend to use correctly tend to because they press it wrong and they don't even have it on the hotbar is actually elusive jump. I personally use it. I do use it quite a lot and I do find it very helpful. I've used it in several situations and it doesn't only look badass as you dodge your move but it also does help you actually dodge that move or even if you you know use the back flip and you're still out on the AoE you can just jump out of the AoE yourself by running there. It gives you that quick shortcut. So try and use that ability guys, it does help you quite a lot, um, I found it's helped me in many situations. But anyway guys, that was a bit of a DPS rotation guy for Dragoon. Please if, again just comment and subscribe, all that usual stuff. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next video. So until then guys, happy gaming.